Hello everybody and once again thank you for joining us for the series on training on how to uh, better use online tools and resources. Uh, today's session we'll be covering will be Google Docs for Business Intelligence and specifically we'll cover how to use business docs for marketing, safety, security, travel, crisis, operations and a myriad of other business practices that have traditionally been used by other tools and resources. Um, can I just do a quick sound check? Can uh, a couple of people type in on the right hand side if they can hear me and it's clear? Excellent, okay, all right. Yep, thank you. We've got a number of people come back, so there's no problem with the audio. Okay, for those who don't know me or are not familiar with me, my name's Tony Ridley. Um, I'm primarily a security professional with years of experience in the travel safety and security space uh, and run, running and managing intelligence operations and consulting as well as having uh, over the last few years developed uh, a skill and experience in search engine marketing and online intelligence tools. So specifically what I'm going to be talking about today is the use of Google Docs as a supplement or as a means of possibly even replacing things like Microsoft Office or utilizing the cloud-based services that the internet is uh, continuing to grow. So I'm going to go through in time specifically uh, how to use some of these resources and, and uncover a number of uh, little tips and tricks that you may be unaware of. So first of all, the first thing that we should look at is uh, under the Google Docs banner. Now remembering that Google uh, has a myriad of solutions and options, uh, but under the specific banner that we're talking about here, uh, we'll start with Google Docs. Now Google Docs is the equivalent of Microsoft Word for many of those who are familiar with it or Apple's Pages for example. Uh, the biggest difference being that this primarily sits in the online space. Now you can synchronize your desktop with the cloud-based activity using Google Gears and a number of other tools and processes. So essentially what this gives you is word processing power that you can have on the internet. Um, so long as you have connectivity you can share and collaborate um, and upload information online specifically. And I'll talk through uh, a little bit in a moment on how to put that into practice. Now this is part of the overall suite which you can see across the bottom of the screen here um, of all of the options. So then we start to look at uh, the spreadsheet versions. So Google Spreadsheets uh, as part of the Google Docs again is probably the, the exact, not the exact, but a comparison between Microsoft Excel or Apple's numbers. So from here again, it's the same concept, the same principle. While the functions are not nearly as comprehensive as say Microsoft Excel, for many of the spreadsheet functions that you may require and certainly the collaboration it does more than significant or more than enough for most businesses or business processes. And there are a number of uh, advanced features that can be utilized as well. Now, we also have presentations. Uh, again, PowerPoint, Keynote, uh, variations on that, much this, a bit like uh, OpenOffice, um, which I neglected to mention earlier. OpenOffice is slightly different, uh, but again, this can be a desktop version. You can embed videos, uh, share, share PowerPoint presentations, um, even use it as part of your marketing or briefings process where you give them the URL, they log in. Actually, they don't even need to log in if they've, so long as they've got the URL address, they can simply go to this particular page um, and view the presentations live streaming. And then we have drawings. So again, uh, like Visio, uh, much the same as uh, a number of other sort of org chart uh, tools, Smart Draw, those sorts of things. This is all done online. So you can do um, quite a lot when it comes to these diagrams and drawings. So again, quickly you can collaborate and share across a myriad of platforms rather than having to have it either individually loaded on your desktop or making sure that everybody's got the same type of software loaded onto their particular machines. Um, this is a, an agnostic viewer, so to speak. So, so long as they've got access to the internet, they can view um, and potentially interact with all of these tools and processes, which is a significant draw card uh, for businesses. Um, you can even create forms. Um, so whether you're doing customer surveys, whether you're doing polling, whether you're doing um, confirmatory follow-ups with Q&As, um, or you're pushing this out to a wider audience to get a more targeted response or um, empirical data rather than uh, simply relying on theory or a million and one different emails and so on. So this, this again can be another great tool um, associated with um, the Google Docs suite. So I'll just close down those boxes there. Um, so what we'll do is we'll get into the Google Docs. Um, sorry, just before I continue on, um, in terms of where I said where it sits before, this is the overall suite of Google products um, that you can find associated with Google Docs. Now a lot of these, if not all of them, integrate fantastically with each other. So you've got everything from mapping to blogs, 
uh, to emails, to photos, to news, to toolbars, and a whole host of other things. Now, for those who have noticed, um, I'm actually using Google Chrome, which is part of the Google Suite. Um, it's the internet browser that I use instead of Internet Explorer or Safari because it integrates very, very well with the platforms of Google and Google Docs and so on. So, again, here's the overall... Um, a variety that you can uh, use and most people uh, very rarely use any more than one or two and most businesses probably wouldn't even need to use one or two but you have do have quite a an array of both th free and very powerful tools that you can utilize um, within your business or within business processes so okay let's get into the more specific so first of all let's look at Google Docs so Google Docs is basically your online folder management um, with where you can create or upload or share a variety of different platforms whether they be spreadsheets whether they be drawings whether they be uh, a whole host of other things so essentially over here on the left hand side um, you can either create new from any of these um, functions and options collections is basically a category or group of uh, documents whether they be uh, spreadsheets forms drawings documentation and so on uh, you can upload files and you can also upload entire folders so rather than uh, deliberating with having to upload single files or you've got an entire batch of things that you immediately want to collaborate or you want to push out in a uh, priority communications fashion um, you can simply upload the entire contents very very quickly um, from your desktop and it's a simple drag and drop process. Um, it's all searchable, um, so again, much like Google's well known for, you can search all of your documents for key information, and this is why it's important to make sure that you do have such things as descriptions, key tags, uh, simple labeling, all those sorts of things. On the left-hand side, um, the basics, again, home, all items, starred, which are your priority documents, those things owned by you because, once again, as you start to collaborate uh, with individuals, it may get a little bit confusing as to what's yours and what's others. Um, collection shared with me, and again, these are all drop-down boxes where you can start to um, have a look or explore um, where there may be files or folders. So, for example, uh, I've put in a couple of examples here just as a, a placeholder. Um, so what you might have is if you're in the crisis or security space, you might mind maintain a security crisis management log. So for example, when we go to the crisis log, for example, it, it then opens up. So you may have serials, descriptions, all of the details can be uh, managed, or sorry, the, the title can be put up here. Um, all of the usual navigation tools that pretty much everyone should be familiar with, uh, with the exception of a couple of these sorts of things where you can exclusively share um, documentation or over here on the right hand side you can select sharing settings editors uh, you can publish it directly um, or even notification rules so if someone's updating it or editing it um, you should get all of this information here now as we can see here we've got all of the details associated we've got a serial description link uh, what we've done here is now we've embedded uh, if this were a crisis log for example we've embedded a uh, an address that now when we link when we click on that and navigate to it it takes us to our actual document so in this instance it was an, inc an incident report so here is the overall document being the crisis log which then has all of the particular events and serials and this would build with over time you can see over here that I'm currently viewing it and if anyone else was viewing it I can see who else has edited and viewed it in the uh, the last you know five hours ten hours six weeks or whatever um, and then I can click on that that's a, a navigatable link and it takes me directly to the document so and this document is editable um, is a test of the function okay then from here you can basically save it doesn't auto save and this is live so if someone else was sharing with this particular document you would immediately get all of this process and your original log here would be maintained by the hyperlink which updates the process so whether you're in the the marketing the security or the business intelligence space you know this is very powerful and helpful to reduce the amount of correspondence that you have over emails and centralize the information that you're trying to communicate uh, very powerful and very very simple so we'll just close those two down okay um, so going back here so you can have everything from marketing forecasts incident reports you can then compile and, and group them 
um, and under your groups again you can share the group you can prioritize them you can rename them you can change the colors if you want if this is a particular important one um, security events may be something else um, and again you know this is just all part of the aesthetics that you can customize the entire process um, which is then replicated over here on your navigatable button over here so very very quickly and very simply you can start to develop um, all of your own sorts of tools and processes um, associated whether they be videos images um, and a whole host of other things which I won't go through every particular tab and process but you get the concept um, so quickly you can generate documents you can upload them you can synchronize them you can share them um, you can edit and collaborate in a far more efficient manner and I use this both with uh, clients when I'm doing consulting projects for editing and sharing of information um, I use it with my staff uh, when we're working on a project and we share information back and forth rather than sending a myriad of attachments and emails and so on back and forth um, we simply upload it to a particular profile or we have a business account um, and we put it in there and we work in it on it on it in real time um, and we can uh, protect or we can determine the amount of sharing so if we want a customer to look at it or a client to look at it or we want other team members um, then we can simply share amongst uh, each other um, and again over on the right hand side you've got all of the uh, the ancillary information that you may need for that particular process so that's that's Google Documents again I'm not going to labor the point because pretty much everyone should be familiar uh, with spreadsheets word so on and so forth but this now puts it in a centralized online shareable and collaboration platform so the other uh, most popular process that businesses would be looking at or experimenting with is email now Gmail is is much much greater than most people give it credit for it's not just simply a means of checking into an internet cafe and and having a look around at your uh, your email which obviously you can do and you can do this on every different type of platform whether it be your um, your mobile phone your smartphone your iPad your laptop your desktop all those sorts of things but Gmail has progressively become um, a significant option instead of uh, Microsoft Outlook for example or even Lotus Notes. So what you see here is this is where we start to manage our email and it has a number of smart management features. Um, so we can have contacts, tasks, mail, everything that we expect on the left hand side. We can also move into priority boxes where we can have uh, specific individuals or specific messages get higher ranking. So we can start to sift out. Not only is the spam filter already engaged with all of the Gmail but it gives you another degree of uh, process that you can simply filter out the type of of information um, that you don't necessarily communicate with or use on a regular basis. Um, so, and again, you can you manipulate that process. Um, here's an example for setting up the Gmail box. There, for example, uh, if we go back to the priority box, um, you can see with the, we can manipulate the process. Um, and we can simply convert and change uh, any of these emails uh, if and when we choose uh, depending on whether we want them important this one's been uh, unread uh, for example and we can manipulate any of the processes or we can even invite to chat uh, communicate so for example what this does is integrate and I'll talk about Google Buzz in a little bit is if you've got Microsoft Communicator or you've got other sorts of internet messengers like Yahoo and, and uh, so on um, this also enables you to increase the communication or productivity so it's not only are you sending um, you know, email which is now becoming snail mail equivalent you can communicate in real time so you can have an ongoing conversation so if you're a marketing team working on a deal you can do uh, information exchange work in real time sign in sign off if you're a security or crisis um, again everything's real time it's archived it's centrally coordinated it's managed if you have a scribe overseeing the process you can basically have this process up and running within seconds um, within a couple of minutes you can have the entire platform laid out for a particular crisis or a particular sport operation um, without having to um, you know, get approval from IT departments and uh, install um, functions on everybody's laptop. This is very, very fast and very, very effective. Um, so when we start to look at the inbox, uh, again, we can see um, all of the different communications that we may or may not have uh, throughout the course of the day or the week or the months. Um, and the other best thing is that here is this is all searchable so uh, for those that are storing this for legal purposes or even those that just want to create and maintain archives you can quickly go into the here much the same as you would with Google on the entire internet and surf and look specifically for communications that you may have had whether it be messages from people to people um, or even specific